I feel like I want to sing that Lizzie McGuire song. Hey now, hey now, hey, hey, this is hey. my dream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, my Facebook page, my Instagram, whatever you're watching this on. Today I'm going to be doing a curling tutorial as you've noticed by the title and the thumbnail. Yeah, I get a lot of questions on how I curl my hair. This is my just real, all natural self. I don't have extensions in or anything. I washed it and round brushed it last night. Of course, it's so frizzy because that's just my hair texture. So I thought I would walk you guys through how I do my KP curls that everyone loves so much and I get tons and tons of questions on. So I guess we'll just jump right in. So today I'll be using the, this is really hot right now, but this is the Bio-Ionic Long Barrel one and a quarter inch. Um, it looks like this, out of the package. This is what the box looks like here. This is what, if you are wanting to purchase it on Amazon or um, my website, this is what this is what you're gonna kinda look for. Support your local business and purchase from one of us. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna demonstrate on this curling iron only because it's not on. And I'm probably gonna go a little bit slower at first, just so I can show y'all um, how I do it. And I don't wanna burn my hair off. I don't really like section my hair a ton, but what I will do is I'll just take my fingers like this down the back and just split my hair in like two sections. And I'll do like one side starting in the back forward and then this side starting in the back forward. So I'll come back here and I'll take the section about this big. And then what you're gonna do you're gonna take your iron and you're just gonna smooth it out first. Just like you would be like flat ironing your hair. What this is gonna do is kind of like tame any flyaways. It's gonna help with tangling. Um, it's gonna help with just kind of sealing that cuticle down and getting all the hairs going in the same direction before you go through and curl. It's just gonna give you more of a polished look in the end. So I take it and I stop about right there and I'm gonna do one turn. And in the real world, when this is on, I'm gonna to count to like three or four. And then I'm gonna leave it clamped. Look, my finger isn't even on it. Unwind it, slide down, and then roll back up. And that counts like three or four again. And I have like this tail hanging out. And then I'm gonna unwind it and I'm just gonna pull straight down and pull the end straight. So. I'm gonna do one kind of closer to the front. Okay, remember, this isn't on right now, so it's not gonna actually curl. I'm just walking you through the motion. So, take it. We're gonna do one pass. We're gonna go about, what is that, like six inches, five or six inches down from the root. Do one little curl. I kinda like go like this, like pet it until I feel like it's hot enough. And then I'm not gonna touch the clamp here unwind, slide down a little bit, and roll back up. It counts like three or four again. Same thing. Unwind, slide down, roll up. It's not on. I'm facing back to front Open my shoulder at the sun and it's an open door And I fall out of sight once more I don't learn, I don't learn It'll all be fine this time I don't learn, I don't learn Cause you always seem so kind I don't learn, I don't learn It'll all be fine this time I don't learn, I don't learn so it's not like really staying but anyway so that's like the slow down version of what I do how I do it first thing I'm gonna do 
brush your hair. <laughs> People underestimate the power of a good brush. Brush, brush, brush. Okay, and then you wanna do some kind of heat protectant. I personally like to just do an oil because my hair is really frizzy. Uh, this is the 11 Smooth and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna do like one pump since I don't have a lot of hair right now. Roll it around. Kind of emulsify it. The oil is gonna act as my heat protecting it rather than doing like a spray or Smells so good. Smells like watermelon. Is it the one that smells like watermelon? Yeah, watermelon. Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. That smells super good. Okay. So, put this in. And I'm going to go through brush it one more time. Um, I'll wear hair extensions the majority of the time, but since my extensions are out right now, and the majority of you guys probably don't wear hair extensions, so this will be a fun little tutorial and something for y'all to reference that's a little bit more um, relatable, I guess. So, okay, got my heat protecting in, got my curl iron. It is on 390. I don't recommend you putting it that high. I am a professional hairdresser. I do hair all day, every day, and I know how to move quickly enough to where this won't burn my hair. And I can literally do this without a mirror or anything in front of me with my eyes closed, and it'd be just fine. I would put it on like 360 if I were you. This, this guy gets so freaking hot, um, which is one of, one of the reasons why I love it so much, especially when I'm doing hair extensions that are fresh. Um, it really does get that bend in there sometimes. Hair extensions are just like, they don't want to cooperate with you when they're brand, brand new. Um, and this really does a good job of just like manipulating all the hair. So, okay, like I said, we're gonna start back here. And then let's smooth it out. And then we're gonna start curling. Curl, unwind, roll down, curl up. And I'm just gonna pull it straight. You see how it's like a bend, like a flat skinny bend rather than like a barrel pageant curl. I, that's not my vibe, I don't like that. I like it to look more like you just step off the beach. So then I'm gonna take a section about like this. Same thing. And you can like toss back and forth your the direction of your curls if you want. You don't have to have them all go in the same direction. That'll just give you more of like a lived in look. And I like to start in the back like this and work my way forward because when I'm done with the curl, I just throw it behind me and I don't have to worry about it. I usually just, since my hair is short, well, it's kind of long. I'm just used to it being like down in my pants. <laughs> um, since it's on the shorter side, right now I just do like two twists. When I have my 22 inch hair extensions in, I'll do like four or five twists on each, um, each piece of hair. Pull down, roll up. I'm gonna pull the end straight. Not really like board straight. I don't like it to be like look like a, like sticks hanging down. <laughs> Just, I like to do a little bit of a bend on the end, but not too, too much. Another little thing that I do, which is kind of strange because a lot of hairdressers um, preach, you know, curl everything away from your face, everything away from your face. What I'll do is like these pieces right here on the bottom on the very front I curl toward my face and what that's gonna do is all the hair kind of right here on the top it's gonna push all of those all those curls kind of forward 
rather than just having like the fair faucet, like which I love fair faucet, like RIP. <laughs> but it's gonna push all of your curls kind of forward with them kind of fanning out, and you're gonna have like more of a tousled look. So I should know how to do that. Okay. So again, same thing. I'm gonna smooth it out. But this piece, like I said, I'm gonna curl toward my face. It just kind of creates a little bit of a dimension. And then these pieces right on the top, are gonna go away from my face. This is my like grown out broken bang area. Last summer, these pieces were like literally up here. I had some bad highlights done <laughs> and um, my hair broke off, but they're finally growing. So I'm just gonna do one turn on this part and pull down. And I kind of like tug on this part while it's cooling because I don't want it to be like super, super curly. I just want it to kind of like do a cute like bend right on my face. So, before I move on, I'm going to just spray. Come here, spray. This is the L'Oreal Professional Techna Art Infinium 3. Just a medium whole hairspray. Okay. So, this is going to cool. I'm not going to touch this. I'm not going to run my fingers through it yet. Um, I'm just going to let it kind of have a little party over here and cool down because when the hair is being cooled, going from like hot to cool is when it's like setting, I guess, if you will. Um, if you go through and just immediately start combing it through, raking it through and stuff like that, it's gonna pull that that shape out a little bit, probably more than you would want. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on. And it's an door, and I fall out of sight and smoke. If I have like any pieces like this that are I kind of like might have missed just because the grip on this thing isn't very oh my goodness. The grip on this thing isn't very um very strong. I'll just take it and like hit 
hit it like a wand almost. Just give a little bit of a dip. So that it blends, not like random little stick straight pieces everywhere. Okay, so then that's when these guys come in handy. Super cute nails. Um, I'm just gonna go through and make it out. I don't know if you can see in the front here how I have like a dimensional kind of look right here because I curled these two pieces a little bit differently. And then here's where it begins. And then you can also, and then at the very end, if you would like, which I like to do because my hair is already like frizzy and coarse. Um, I take a shine spray. This is the 11 Make Me Shine Spray Gloss. Um, it says a lightweight anti-humectant finishing spray to control flyaways and shine for all hair types. So anti-humectant means like anti-humidity and um, it's a finishing spray. You're just gonna spray it, just aerosol. Gonna add some shine. It smells like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works. Smell it. Okay. And that is it. So um, I hope this helped and I hope that you guys can practice, especially right now during quarantine and we ain't got nothing else to do. Um, I would wear this look out to dinner. Um, to work. I curl my hair almost every day for work. It's just really, really easy. Another tip that you can do to maintain your curls for a certain amount of days is you can take it and split it down the middle again and just do like a super loose braid and tie off on the end uh, and that'll help maintain your curl. Um, so that in the morning, all you do is take your little braids out, run your fingers through it. You might need to touch up a few pieces around your face, and that's it. You can wear it for three, four, five, six, however many days to go. I'm a once a week girl, so I probably won't wash my hair until the weekend. <laughs> um, so anyway, hope this helped, and let me know if you guys have any more questions. But until then, I will see y'all later.